Are you dealing with the same problem I was, which was how to store, keep safe, and keep charged all of the rechargeable battery-powered devices that we've all seemed to have acquired over the last few years? If so, stick around because I'm going to show you my simple solution for handling this problem. Today on the Home Tip Show, let's do it! So I got the idea of creating a charging station in my house from all the flying I do, especially when I fly international. I was seeing charging stations pop up in airports everywhere. There are some pay to play versions where you have to swipe a credit card and you get so many minutes of charging and some free versions in the air carrier lounges and just some charging stations even in the airport general seating areas. They are very simple but very versatile and provide every type of port and even sometimes the cable you may need to charge just about any device that you travel with. Also, recently I've been seeing more and more companies offering rentals of USB charging banks where you rent a fully charged brick at one airport, uh, you take it with you, charge your device on your trip, and then either return it at another airport or to the same or airport when you return. Or if you want to keep it for yourself and use it forever, you can for an additional charge. But as I thought about the problem I was trying to solve in my house, what appealed to me was the concept of having one safe place in my house where we could all go and know where our device is located and have available to us all of the cables and the ports necessary anytime we need to charge it or anytime we go to put it away at night we know where it's at and that it's being charged. So these are the requirements that I had for the home charging station. Number one. Requirement 1. The home charging station must be conveniently located in an air-conditioned, secure, powered location that is not easily visible to visitors. Requirement 2. The home charging station must be able to hold every device, cable, charger, brick, and adapter that's necessary in a home charging station. Requirement 3. All chargers, cables, bricks, etc. that are part of the home charging station are to stay with the home charging station. Stated simply, home charging station parts do not leave the home charging station. Requirement 4. The home charging station will be used to reduce but not replace the chargers and cables we have located in other convenience locations throughout the house. So nightstands, home offices, the garage, cars, etc. Requirement 5. A separate location will be used to store extra cables, chargers, power bricks, etc. that are not part of the home charging station. These are to be used for travel, for guests, and other situations that may be deemed necessary. And requirement 6. The home charging station will be highly functional and neatly organized at all times. So what equipment did I use to create my charging station? So again, from the container store, my favorite place, I bought two of the large flat wire stacking shelves and four of the half large flat wire stacking shelves. These stack on, each, on top of each other and they are perfect for this application. I also bought one of the Umbra Driftwood 8 hook flip racks. This is used to hang all of the extra wires, etc. I also bought a rug mat, which I cut into various pieces to line the top of the shelves with. Um, for the chargers, I, I prefer Anchor. Um, I bought uh, some Anchor 360 chargers that are 60 watt, and I bought a couple of the 10 port Anchor power watt 60 watt chargers as well. Um, these are USB-A, um, they also accommodate USB-C as well as um, lightning and micro USB. So here is the final product. Um, you can see that I have the smaller equipment on the top four shelves, which are the half shelves, um, as well as my iPad 
and uh, you know there's a there's a couple of the um, um, anchor charges up there and then as you get lower to the bottom the equipment becomes bigger so that's where I have my computers I have exercise equipment I have things like that located on the bottom shelves One of the reasons that I selected this particular brand of shelving is that because the wire shelving has basically a built-in wire management system. So you can run wires, drop it through the shelving at any point and connect it to wherever you need to. If you want to tie wrap it and have it there permanently, you can. Whatever you want to do, this shelving is designed perfectly as a wire management system. I'm actually surprised that the container store doesn't sell this shelving as a wire management system because it's so perfect. I've worked in professional telecom for years and I've never seen shelving that's so perfectly designed for wire management. This is the container store Umbra Driftwood 8 hook flip rack and I use it to store every possible cable I might need for charging including USB-A USB to lightning, USB-A to USB-C, USB-A to micro USB as well as you know, wireless Apple Watch chargers as well as wireless iPhone chargers even Ethernet cables and various sizes of extension cords but within the next 12 to 18 months I expect to start swapping out my um, my anchor charging blocks with USB-C ported chargers, which I believe is the future of USB charging. So that is our home charging station that we created in our main floor closet. If you like this video, please like it. Um, please hit the like button. Please um, subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell so you can get notifications. Thank you very much for watching.